Thou, and then cultivating ourselves, not only improves our own lives, but also gives us the opportunity to better the world. After we receive Tao, we act upon our conscience and care for people around us. We cherish Tao and disregard personal disadvantages. Then we make an effort to spread the message of Tao to the world, in order for everyone to benefit from it. We are devoting ourselves to the work of God, and certainly will achieve spiritual perfection in both this world and the world after life. To probe further, the supremacy of Tao is based on the heavenly decree of God, by which grand masters can perform the passage of Tao. The enlightenment of Tao from Grand Masters directly opens the main gate of our bodies, which revives our divine nature. It reveals that heaven is not beyond oneself. Instead, one as true self merges into the entire universe. This is the supremacy of Tao. 1. With the heavenly decree, the enlightenment of Tao is extremely profound and marvelous. It cannot be completely expressed by any words of languages. It is not recorded on any scriptures or sutras. It cannot be described by preaching, nor can it be acquired by human intelligence, nor derived from knowledge and experience nor achieved from gifted talents. Because the above mentioned all have to be created and can be eliminated, which means that they cannot last forever themselves. They all bear partiality and cannot be applied universally. Hence, they cannot surpass life cycles, nor can they reach eternity. 2. The wonder of the effects and omnipotence of Tao is beyond words. It is the wisdom that does not come from learning. It is what we acquire from God and possess intrinsically. It is the same divine heart before the creation of the universe. It is conscience, the holy heart. It is the divine and immortal nature the Spirit of God. 3. Tao is too marvelous to be described. It makes us know without learning and function without practicing. It is a prior wisdom, perception, potency, and ability. It is not constrained by words or languages. It functions without thinking, intents, or even actions. However, it can create the sky, the world, the human, all beings, and all existences. All these, after being created, still cannot carry on without Tao even for one moment. Tao is therefore called Great Lord of all beings. 4. Without Tao, the stars and planets in the sky wouldn't he have been in order. The sun and the moon couldn't he have illuminated or revolved properly. Then the yin-yang energies wouldn't he have circulated, and, as a result, this world wouldn't he have been suitable for all of us to live in five. Without Tao, the five primary elements of the earth, metal, wood, water, fire, and soil, wouldn't he have been balanced and complemented one another, which could have put the entire world in chaos. Mountains would have collapsed, Lands would have cracked, and oceans would have dried up. Likewise, 
this world wouldn't he have been an environment for us to live in six. Without Tao, we, human beings, wouldn't he have been able to walk, to see, to hear, to speak, or to move. Our physical bodies would deteriorate quickly into a pile of soil in a hundred days. 7. If one really comprehends the effects and omnipotence of Tao, and can practice accordingly and persistently, one can communicate with and be united with God. This is the absolute truth. It is a glory and marvel beyond description. Therefore, it not after death that one becomes a Buddha. It is when one is still alive that one achieves being a Buddha. And to be a Buddha is to revive and hold on to a one as divine and original nature. This is what we benefit from attaining and practicing Tao. The what do we need to receive Dao? We have discussed the many benefits we obtain after receiving Tao. Some would wonder why there is so much given to us. Of course, we should realize it comes from God as grace toward human beings. This allows doubt to be spread around the world, especially at the approaching of the worldwide calamity. People with merit and conscientious mind will have the opportunity of learning about Tao and the way back to heaven. It always holds true that people who had the fortune of receiving Tao are derived from the tree of righteous ancestors. In addition, during the passage of Tao, it is required that we make promises to God that, hey, after we receive Tao, we will keep in mind the true meaning of Tao and put it into action in our daily life. What we speak and what we do will all be based on our conscience. The after we receive Tao, we offer help to those in need of it, and do our best to indicate Tao to more people so that they can all benefit from the grace of God. C. After we attain the three treasures, we promise not to tell them to any other person. The three treasures can only be transmitted through authorized masters in front of God. If we reveal them to any person, they become invalid to the person, and we also defy the heavenly decree. All the promises required are reasonable and achievable. It goes with our nature. If we practice and keep the promises, we will be able to become a wiser and a better person. We will become merciful and nurture the good seed of doubt planted in our mind. One last thing to mention is that one of the reasons we are able to receive Tao is due to the good deeds of our ancestors. Therefore, as we persistently practice Tao, our ancestors will also benefit from it and so will our descendants. As long as you are prepared for the above mentioned, you are qualified to receive Tao, no matter what nationality, race, or religion you belong to. Notes, in order to be exempted from the rebirth cycles, to avoid the ordeal of hell, to alleviate the suffering and misfortunes in our lives, and to be able to return back to heaven after death and enjoy permanent happiness, we have to receive Tao. And the general qualifications are, 1. 
to be with a compassionate heart, and to be fortunate enough to be born in a time when Tao is available to the public. 2. To have sowed the seeds of virtue by helping many people and offering lots of charitable services in the previous lives. This is the divine affinity with God. 3. To have ancestors with beneficences and welfare work as well. 4. To meet the introducer and guarantor who indicate the way to attain Tao to me. It is very likely that, in the previous lives, we did charitable services together, or we sell C-U-L-T-I-V-A-T-E-D together in the same religion. So, in this life, when Tao is available, we can help each other out and practice Tao together again. So time is ripe for Tao due to our divine affinity. D.I. What impact does receiving D.A.O. have on Emmy as we mentioned before, and like the old days when hermits had to leave their families to receive Tao through meditation and self-cultivation, Tao, at the present time, can be received in a way that is applicable and conforming to our practical needs. We don't have to give up our lifestyle in order to attain Tao. By the grace of God, Tao is intended to be delivered to the public at all levels of occupations and around the world rather than being limited to a privileged group of people. The impacts that receiving Tao can have on our daily life are summarized as the following, A receiving Tao creates no conflicts with any religions Tao governs the universe including all human beings. It existed before the formation of any religions. It is concordant with all religions, in the sense that religions preach the awareness of conscience and the pursuit of the truth. We don't he need to give up our religion in order to receive Tao. On the contrary, by receiving